children! Our children! Our children! It was a small protest due in part to the downpour, but significant as the first since these demonstrators were banned by the High Court from protesting directly outside Anderton Park Primary. A different location, but their message was the same. They don't want children being taught about same-sex relationships. As mothers, we spend sleepless nights while raising our children. Now, additional restless nights have been inflicted on us with the worry about their innocence being taken away. This is not only an attempt to silence parents, but to take away our legitimate parental rights. Police outside the school ensured the High Court ruling was followed. After nine weeks of noisy protests at the school gates, the head teacher had had enough. The damage that has been done to my school, my staff, the children, the parents, um, is almost immeasurable. We have psychological support in school most days for staff. I have very little staff absence normally and there has been a spike in the last few months of migraines, uh, stress, anxiety, uh, heart, uh, high blood pressure. We cannot be a primary school that does all the lovely things that a primary school should do if staff and children are afraid to come to school. Many protesters don't have children at the school. They claim they're not homophobic, but listen to this man at a meeting yesterday. These children are sexualized in the school and they're transformed into homosexuals and you name it, there's a serious safeguarding issue at school. I showed the footage to the head teacher. It's just utterly ridiculous. You don't transform into a homosexual and, um, and there's nothing sexual about anything that goes on in my primary school or any other primary school in the country. We don't teach sex education here, we never have. So having two mommies is not a sexual issue. The shock with which some people uh, speak about this is, is pure homophobia. Would you ever put this teaching on hold if that's what it took to resolve it? No. The protesters have urged their supporters to abide by the High Court injunction for now. They've been crowdfunding in this community to raise funds to go to the High Court on Monday to challenge the ruling. They've made it clear they'll do whatever it takes. I'm prepared to go to prison for this and I'm prepared to lose all my, 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 you know, my house on this. The battle has moved from the classroom to the courts and both sides are prepared to fight on. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Birmingham.